Hey guys, I'm back from vacation. Minecon set shop in Disneyland, EA rocks the market, and we expect more dragons in this week's roundup. If you've been watching my live streams, you know that I was unexpectedly impressed by Capcom's unordinary title, Dragon's Dogma. This RPG has been one of my favorite releases of the year, and I'm happy to see that I'm not the only one who feels this way. With a success that even took Capcom by surprise and net profits reaching nearly 300% increase, Dragon's Dogma sets the stage to become a series. Starting in November, Star Wars The Old Republic is going free to play. Paired with a price drop, new players will be able to pick up this title for $15, which comes with a month of paid gameplay, as free to play will be missing some features. A new currency is being introduced called Cartel Coins, which will allow players conveniences such as faster leveling and character customization, and can be purchased from the official website in the future. With 1.3 million Battlefield 3 premium subscriptions sold, EA has taken the title as the leading game company this year. Despite Star Wars having a drop in subscribers and consequently a drop in stocks, the company continues the year strong. Yesterday we attended a pre-Gamescom EA Summer Showcase where they announced some Wii U titles and Army of Two The Devil's Cartel. Check in regularly as we'll be posting exclusive interviews from this event. Mr. Pandora add-ons are now supported on Curse. With already over 100 to choose from, such as damage recorders and action bar organizers, you can click the links below to view them all and sort by class or category. We have also launched European payment localization on Curse to make it easier for our overseas audience to interact with the site and client. Minecraft 1.3 was released on Wednesday, adding jungle temples, desert pyramids, single player land support, trip wires, mini bug fixes, and performance improvements, and villager trading. Then Jeb released 1.3.1 shortly after for some bug fixes. On Thursday, Minecom was appropriately announced as being in Disneyland Paris on the 24th and 25th of November. Tickets will go on sale hopefully in two weeks. This week's indie highlight is a recently released MOBA strategy 3 on 3 platformer Awesome Knots. In the year 3587, robot armies are locked in a stalemate battle for galactic supremacy. With the option to battle with friends online and local split screen, you can easily devise strategies as you upgrade and customize each character's skills. This indie title is available on Steam for $10. That's it for the roundup. I'm glad to be back. Hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you next week for some game releases.